Hi guys, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, it's yard sale day. Yes, I show you the signs that I made. <laughs> I pull up some of the yard sale bins from the basement. We put it outside in the table. We did it this past Saturday. And I show you everything that happened. So, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I am a hoarder and I conceal my identity by putting the sunglasses on and the phone in front of my face because I'm still feeling a little too woo vulnerable to admit to the world who I am because I'm showing you all my messes and how my crazy mind works. <laughs> no, but with each episode, we clean out the house a little more. We find a little more healing in our hoarding. So yes, this episode is dedicated to the yard sale. Now, a lot of these items are from the 30 Day Minimal Challenge, uh, also the Hoarder Challenge, little things that I would gather and I put them in bins for the yard sale and I kept them in the basement. So today is finally the day that I can show the actual yard sale. And I'm happy to say that some things definitely went. And it was a beautiful day that Saturday, so I was really glad that the weather really cooperated. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so luckily I had hoarded away all my past year yard sale signs. And all I really had to do was just get a new piece of like little piece of paper, cut it out and write May 18th for the yard sale date. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all these yard sale signs around the neighborhood and hopefully, fingers crossed, we, really, we get a really good turnout. It is early, early morning and I am putting those signs out right now. <laughs> So hopefully those signs, you can kind of see, maybe when I uh, drive by, you can kind of see a little bit all the way over there, one of my signs, but let's fingers crossed that it attracts people. All right guys, so right now I have my bank ready. So I, um, I'm gonna use this little old college purse, like cross uh, crossover thing that's perfect for yard sale day. Uh, but this is my bank that I have, so I wrote it down and I'll keep it in there so that way um, at the end of the yard sale I can tell how much that I made. And also I made sure to have a ton of ones. Hopefully there's not too many people with 20s. <laughs> but yeah, so all right, let me, uh, let me get outside. All right guys, so here's some of the stuff out. That's what I have for today for the yard sale. I'm starting to get my tables out and somebody already stopped over and I'm like, oh, I knew I should have set this up last night and put tarp over it because I couldn't believe someone already came. But all right guys, I gotta uh, get out here <laughs> and get this set up. All right guys, it's all put out, ready to go. Hopefully some people stop by and check us out. I'm kind of like near a main area, but I also like I'm tucked behind it. So hopefully the signs will be able to get them where they need to go and hopefully we'll make a couple dollars today. That would be great. And it's a beautiful day. So yeah, fingers crossed guys that we make a couple sales and at the end, at the end, I uh, definitely will make sure that I take uh, a majority of this stuff to the um, to donation to probably like Goodwill. I'll just pack up the car and take it there today, so that way we don't have to worry about it. But yeah, guys, wish me luck! Woohoo! Yard sale day! <laughs> oh yeah, let me add this too. So here is some of the bins. So looking forward to some of these bins really being empty uh, after this is all done. All right guys, so it's still pretty early. It's eight o'clock and I did make about like $10 so far because I sold that coach purse and a picture and a couple other little, little things. But it's, it's slow because I used to have yard sales before and I'm worried that I didn't advertise it or not for giving enough time. And, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> you know, hey, at least we made a $10 that I didn't have before. And it'll be good, like, getting some of this stuff, uh, you know, just getting some of it out of here and getting that space back. So we're about halfway through our yard sale. 
I'll probably have another two and a half hours and some people definitely did come through and buy some stuff so I'm excited about that and I actually found some extra little things that I hurried up and I just threw out here and yeah so I'm feeling really good about this I'm feeling really good and glad that we made a little bit of money so far and uh, I actually forgot how much I used to like yard sales I used to do a lot of yard sales a long time ago but I kind of stopped but now um, I forgot how much I enjoyed them all right guys well that wraps up the yard sale definitely some things got sold so I'm feeling pretty good about that and overall it was a good day I think it was a good day and we got to start cleaning and organizing that so I definitely again I need to be honest I have mixed feelings about taking all of this right to the donation thing in one shot I, I know that sounds crazy but it's kind of like ah, I can feel my anxiety like that's a lot of stuff you're taking a lot of stuff in one shot that that's a lot and it feels like a great loss that's coming over me but I'm going to I'm going to do my best to work through it <laughs> without having a panic attack but yeah and i also i really want to declutter this summer and organize another like big yard sale like big like once i get into like the laundry room and the basement and the garage i know i'll have big items to sell at a yard sale and i'm hoping to have like another one hopefully in fall hopefully i can uh you know box up a bunch of stuff and get it all ready so all right for now let's start to organize all this and get it packed up all right guys so i'm trying to figure out how to sort and organize everything because i am going to go to goodwill to drop stuff off but i want my bins <laughs> i don't want to donate my bins because then i'll have new empty bins for you know sorting and organizing so i think what i did was i went into the basement and grab some empty cardboard boxes, you know, ones that I don't care about. And even like there's one of those diaper boxes that was down there. So what I'll do is I'll put this donation stuff in there. That way I can drop it off and it'll all be together. Just some thoughts that I'm having as I'm sorting through all of this. This takes a lot of time. Stuff takes a lot of time in your life <laughs> to sort and categorize and organize it has taken a majority of my day and I'm pooped, <laughs> but I'm still going to keep going. But yeah, it just, it does. And the people who do minimalism, they got it right. <laughs> they just keep exactly what they want. No more, no less. And they live, they live through experiences more than stuff. And this is something like just sitting here, like going through all this stuff and dealing with all this emotions. Cause I have a lot of mixed emotions right now, guys. I feel anxiety, I'm feeling um, like, uh, I, I could feel myself, I'm just like, eee. and I did, gotta be truthful, I pulled a couple of things out. Not a lot, but I did, because I just, I felt like I couldn't let it go, it was too much, too much is going on, and doing the little things at a time works well, not doing a whole bunch at once. All right guys, I got that Jeep filled up right now, stuff that did not sell. And the yard sale is in here. And there's some more that didn't fit. Let me show you. Whee! And these two boxes right here. So this stuff is out of here. So that feels good. But let me be honest, because this channel is me being brutally honest with my hoarding. I kept these three bins. Yes, yes, yes. This I actually sold. Someone's coming to get it. But I kept these three bins because I do want to have another yard sale. And there's some really good stuff in there and I just ah it just I, I could feel my anxiety just ready to have a panic attack and like OCD and everything was just kicking in like no I need to hold on to it I need to hold on to it I'll have another yard sale and so I did and that's what kept my anxiety calm so that I could get rid of everything that's in there right now but on a positive note look at all these empty bins so that's four empty bins that I have so that's good. This bin right here wasn't even supposed to go out. I didn't even sort it, so it wasn't even supposed to be out here yet anyway. <laughs> so that's got to go back in the basement. But look, look at how great that is. Four empty bins. That feels really good. All right, guys, we're pulling up to Goodwill, and it's the same day as the yard sale. So a lot of you guys told me, make sure that you know you take the donations that day don't keep it in your house like whatever you decide you're gonna take the goodwill take it right away so here we are oh my gosh look at all that stuff <laughs> that's a lot of stuff
stuff. All right, guys, it's empty. Got a cleaned out back, uh, back trunk and woo, it's left over there for them to sort. Okay, guys, moment of truth. How much did I make? Well, I had a bank at first. I don't know if you can kind of see that. There you go. So I had my bank because I had to have a lot of ones and lower bills because, you know, people like to give bigger, uh, bigger bills. But so my bank was $3,105. That's just the random low bills and <laughs> change that I had. And then after the yard sale, I had $83.05. So I made $52. So not bad. Not bad at all. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that $52 and I'm going to put it towards my credit card, you know, for the debt snowball. So overall, for really not advertising it as well as I should have, I think I did pretty good. All right, guys. So now I'm walking to the back of the basement of where um, we I was storing the yard sale thing. So it was right over here. So this space is empty. And then this space technically would be empty because these are the empty bins from the yard sale. And overall, I'm really glad. I think this turned out really, really uh, well and a good experience. Um, the main thing that I've noticed with this that I kind of already knew, but I just really reaffirmed it, was that I cannot get of a whole lot of stuff at once. It's too overwhelming. Even though I had already made decisions months ago to let those things go, seeing it all go to Goodwill in one shot was so overwhelming. I had every excuse. As a matter of fact, here are there's the three bins. So those are the three bins. This is just other stuff. But um, from the yard sale that I want to have for the next time. It was just so overwhelming that I couldn't get rid of all of it because I had every excuse of I want to have another yard sale. I feel anxious. I don't want to let it go. I feel a panic attack coming on. So it just reassures me that for me and my hoarding, and I feel like most hoarders across the board too, that getting rid of a little bit each day, making those decisions each day of letting it go is way easier than making the decisions to let the stuff go, have a huge pile, and then one day take it all in one shot. It was just harder for me. It just, it, I was on a verge of a panic attack letting it all go. And on a bonus though, I do want to have another yard sale later on because, oh my gosh, especially when we get in this, Oh, oh my gosh, I'm going to have a ton of stuff to have at that yard sale. So guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.